Hey, how are you guys? Today we are talking on sad Utah helicopters crash. Let's prayers up because this was happening at that time of accident. Let's watch details in this video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends. Two Black Hawk helicopters built by Stratford-based Sikorsky crashed within a few hundred yards of a Utah resort Tuesday morning during a training exercise, as skiers on a nearby lift watched a huge cloud of snow billow into the air. Authorities did not immediately state any possible causes for the crashes, which left no crew members hurt, according to the Utah National Guard. An ABC4 News journalist reported on Twitter that the rotor blade on one helicopter struck the tail of the other, with the pilot having warned of whiteout conditions during a mayday distress call. None of men and women aboard the helicopter or the dozens of skiers nearby were injured, authorities said. Utah National Guard spokesperson Jared Jones said the crash occurred during a standard training exercise on U.S. Forest Service land just outside the boundaries of Snowbird Ski Resort, about 28 miles from Salt Lake City. But before details, please subscribe our channel, hit bell icon and don't miss any updates. We are aware of the incident and stand ready to support the investigative authorities and our customer, Britt Rabinovici, a spokesperson for Sikorsky parent company Lockheed Martin said in a statement Tuesday afternoon to Hearst Connecticut Media. Safety is our top priority. On Tuesday near Mineral Basin, a backside bowl area at the Snowbird Ski Resort about 28 miles from Salt Lake City, the two U-60 helicopters went down and were left damaged, the Utah National Guard said in a post on Twitter. Fox 13 News Utah posted on Twitter a short video clip of the helicopters in close proximity to each other, with skiers in the vicinity. Noah Sikorsky, an 18-year-old skier from Cottonwood Heights said he saw the helicopters go down at a flat area that's often used for snowmobile lessons. Though the landing at first appeared controlled, he said he was alarmed when he saw debris hurling toward the chairlift he was on. He later saw four crew members in National Guard uniform lugging a stretcher with gear and equipment strapped on. Joseph Schaefer, a 23-year-old from Provo, heard the thud. He said it sounded similar to the blast noise from the explosive ski patrols set off to control avalanches, but realized it was a crash when he saw a helicopter's rotor fly out of the cloud of powder. He was thankful nobody was seriously hurt, but said skiers like him were sad when the resort closed lifts and trams near the crash site. Other skiers and snowboarders taking advantage of post-President's Day weekend's fresh snow and clear skies said they also heard the boom and saw dust emanating from the crash site below their chairlift. When it settled, some could see broken propeller blades in the wreckage of the crash site. Yanni Radaba, another skier from Provo, said she and her husband saw the helicopters flying close to the ground in what looked like a formation. The couple turned around after the helicopters disappeared into the dust the rotors had kicked up but then were jolted upon hearing a whomp. All I could see is a big, long, straight object flying from there, maybe 100 or 150 yards away from there, Radaba said of the propeller blade. When the dust settled, she saw a flipped Black Hawk in the snow. They were the third and fourth Black Hawk helicopters or variants to incur mishaps this year, according to the Aviation Safety Network maintained by the Flight Safety Foundation. On February 2, U.S. Special Forces troops destroyed a Black Hawk in Syria after pilots encountered mechanical difficulties during a mission that resulted in the death of a leader of the ISIS terrorist group. And in January in Virginia, a U.S. Navy Nighthawk plowed into a tree line during an emergency landing in a field. It was the first crash in a year of a Black Hawk helicopter operated by any state's National Guard, according to ASN records. Crashes early last year by National Guard units in Idaho and New York resulted in the deaths of three National Guard personnel in each incident, 